Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Itty Bitty Birthday with birthday wishes. There. And a new stamp set, Basket of Blooms. And of this one I've used the vase, this leaf and then this stemmy leafy thing here I've also got oh I never got the stamps out let's get some stamps out so I need the bars which I'll put on This one won't fit on there. Let's move this. That one will go on there. That one will go on a D block. No, a C block. Yeah, a C block. And leaf there we are right start again so the cards that I've got for this is a mink macaron base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths a mossy meadow at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I've also got a piece of white which I've already run through an embossing folder the basket weave embossing folder from Stampin' Up um, and this is five and a half by three and three quarters which is there I have got a piece of mossy meadow measuring two and three eighths by four and seven eighths and I've got a piece of white measuring two and a half by four and three quarters and I've got some scrap for the sentiment so need this that for the vase and that for the sentiment All right we need to cut and stamp stamp and cut the vase out first before we can go any further so I'm using crumb cake to stamp the vase out like that Before I cut it out, I'll colour it in. So what I did was coloured it in light crumb cake. Put where you can see it, I hope. Just colour that all in like that. Then with the dark crumb cake, I went round where all the stamp has 
left a shadow or a darker part I went round with the dark crumb cake and I didn't do it evenly because your shadow's not even and a bit there and a bit there Then I've got them light again. And try to blend that in a bit. Right, when I go over it a second time, I deliberately miss out like a thin line. Like that, to give it like a shine on it. And that's that coloured in. And then I cut it out. I must get fed up of me cutting out bits by hand. There we are. That's the vase cut out. Keep that bit. Now then, what I did, I placed the vase on here. Not cut very straight. Place the vase on here where I wanted it and with a pencil, come down a bit, with a pencil I just marked it there, marked it there, moved it a little bit that way and marked it there and I know that my stems have got to go in between them marks because on this one you can't actually see because I've disguised it. This one here actually came outside the vase because I didn't mark it to know where my vases went. But now I know. So, with my long stems with the leaves and my old olive, I'm going to ink up and I've got that bent over to the left I'm going to place that down like that then I straighten it up and put it so it's in the middle 
like that and then I should have done this before it's inked up just bend it over slightly to the right and place that like that and it's all gone between the vase now I've got a bit of sticky note paper and what I did I cut very three very thin strips which I don't need just yet I forgot What I do need is my light old olive pen. I'm going to colour in the stems. And then with the dark old olive. Oh, that's not dark old olive. That is. We're going to colour in some of the leaves. Like that. Right, and with light mossy meadow, I'm going to colour in some more of them. I'm leaving a few for um, old olive. I just want some more different kinds of green. So this is light or olive. Right, now with our thin strips that we cut off earlier, or cut up, I'm going to place one on each stem. Worried about the leaves. I don't want to 
down to them on the and then this with all the olive I'm going to ink up the leaf branch and we're going to stamp that in the middle pressing harder over the um, paper close this up don't need that anymore right then with granny apple green I'm going to colour in these leaves. And then when we stick the vase on top, you have your little bouquet of greenery, which I think looks quite nice, rather than having all feminine colours as I call them. Because not all females like feminine colours. Rub off the pencil marks. And this we're going to put on dimensionals. And find them. Just need three. One at the bottom. One at the top and one in the middle. Right, let's do the sentiment next. No, this one. And this is birthday wishes. And we're going to cut that, that, and we're going to flag the ends. Got a bit more of that. And that will get glued on there. But we need to flag the ends of these to match. So and 
one done. Do that. Glue these on there. Usually I glue them before I cut them, as you most probably seen. Right. Let's glue all these bits together. Another one of those days where nothing wants to stick where I want it. That'll do. Right. Plenty of glue on here with it being embossed. this one onto my card place. That is not very good. trouble with this on the last one I'm sure I did This I glued flat. In the middle. And then we put the Vase on, taking the back ends off these dimensionals. And now, this I can actually place it a bit lower now that the um. There is no stem sticking out, so I'll put one at each end.
and a bit of glue in the middle. And we want a piece of white card for the inside. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos you upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.